as you can see, we're on the GuideStar homepage. I am logged in, and you do need to be registered with our site and to log in to view the 990s. There is no charge for registering and no charge for searching the site or viewing the three most recent 990s that we've received from the IRS for any organization. I am logged in as a user who does not subscribe to either GuideStar Premium or GuideStar Charity Check. So that would be a user who is taking advantage of our free search and free information. To find an organization, I scroll down on the home page to the search GuideStar box. And in this case, I'm looking for the Smithsonian Institution. So I put that in the box. I click Start Your Search. And you see I got 88 results. But before I go and look at the results, I want to point out this blue bar toward the top of the page. Almost every page on our site has this blue bar. So if you were somewhere on the site and wanted to do another search, all you need to do is click in the box and put in your search term. But since I've already searched for Smithsonian, I'm going to scroll down. And the first result happens to be the one I want, Smithsonian Institution. So I click on the organization's name. Then I scroll down again. And I click on the Form 990 and Docs tab. And then I scroll down again. That's it. And then I scroll down again. There we go. And here are links to the three most recent 990s we've received from the IRS. And the way I view one is I just click on the link for the one I want. It comes up in a pop-up box as a PDF. And there you go. And if you will note, this is a 2009 form year, but it is the 2010 990 because the fiscal year ended on September 30th, 2010. That's all I have to show you. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful, and we hope that you have many days of happy searching on GuideStar. Thank you for joining us.